What's up, 508 family? We are hopping into part B of a conversation that we started um, last week. If you haven't listened to that conversation, do me a favor. You gotta go back. You gotta click that. You gotta click the thing. You gotta click that joke. We're gonna do part A before we do part B. Um, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do. We're gonna do that. We had a. Um, we had fun with a leadership teaching that we did um, at a fam night recently, which mm -hmm. is which is great. Um, I would highly recommend doing it. Here's what I'll say: We're continuing it. It's going to be leadership teaching times two, part A B thing. You know, we, we got going on. So, um, here's what I'd ask: the only ask that I have for you: take notes. Mm -hmm. um, the point of this teaching is to bring you to a higher level in Christ mm -hmm. um, as a leader in your church and in your ministry or even in your personal life, your workplace, whatever the, yeah. whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. um, these, these things are very applicable. So mm -hmm. um, our big idea, I'll just do a very brief recap. Your words matter. Mm -hmm. Your words matter. Um, words. Yeah, say it again. Right Wor yeah, words. words. Yeah, W-O-R-D-S. W -O -R -D -S. Words. Yes. Your words, Bold. they matter. Underline. Yeah, yeah. Underline that thing. You know what I mean? Just yeah. I don't know if you can do like italicized like on a piece of paper. Do you think you people can't. have like picked up that it's W weapons O offense? Right, and then our yeah. reaction. I, reaction. I don't, I, I don't know that they. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> now that you say left. that, I don't know if they did that. Yeah, I, you know what? I love. I love. You guys us. are smart. Yeah, they're he smart. They're yeah. smart. Yes, they are. So, um, we we talked about five threats to a built to last culture. The first threat was um, the weapons. Um, so you can either use your words to build, or you could use them to destroy. Threat number two was offense. The question was, are you easily offended? Mm. That one's deep. The stomach just starts that to one, turn. Ooh, just yeah. turn in a little wow. bit. And we talked about how correction was actually good leadership. Psalm mm -hmm. 23 talks about that, how like mm -hmm. his rod and his staff, they comfort us. Comfort. His rod and staff, the direction and the correction. Ooh, I'm getting amped. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We just started. I'm already getting fired up. <laughs> Threat number three, reaction. Um, I, loved, I loved how you portrayed this, Becca. Um, when you receive words of correction, do you react or do you receive? And we talked about uh, a little bit of a testimony. And by the way, it's okay if you do react. It is. It is. I, I am a very emotional creature. I know every, these two that know. Is. Yeah, and Pastor Devin definitely knows. I don't know if he's... It's facts. So, Pastor Devin, I, let's just say that I am very emotional, which is um, part of my personality, but... Not a bad thing. Not, not a bad, bad thing. thing. Not a bad thing. You know what I mean? How many bald jokes can you get from an emotional guy? I mean, you know what I mean? There's only me and Jasmine. We're a bunch of robots. Exactly. Anyway. That is true. So yes. Yes. Less so on my part, but... Well, that's the most beautiful thing I've heard in 2021, but we're going to move on to threat number... <laughs> Or four. 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 Yes. <laughs> Justin, take us away. So you said weapons. Yeah. Offense. Offense. Reactions. Reactions. Uh, and number four is dishonor. Mm -hmm. Dishonor. So the key question, do you use your words to honor hmm. or to dishonor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To bring honor or to remove honor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Honor can bring blessing and dishonor can bring cursing, right? Mm -hmm. So do you want to bless people with your words or do you want to curse people with your words? And yeah. cursing not necessarily meaning a bad word, mm -hmm. but a word that hurts people, that mm -hmm. cuts people. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the kind of guiding scripture here is uh, Exodus 20:12, And I think this produces a very good question and one that mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of our listeners um, might resonate with <laughs> honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land mm. the Lord your God is giving you mm. so the question here is how do you treat your parents uh. that's a tough one but that's, it. that's a tough <laughs> one that's just I okay. mean as you grow older I'm, I'm getting I'm gonna age myself here, you know. I'm 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 about to age out of the 508. It's 46 or something like that, right? I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm getting there. Yes, yes. 47. So it gets a, it gets a little easier the the older you get, just because you start to understand that a lot of the things that you did not like living in their house was meant for your good. Yeah. How did you react and respond to that mm -hmm. with honor or dishonor? How do you treat your parents? Is mm -hmm. a great barometer. He. Mike used the, the, the phrase barometer, and if you don't know what a barometer is, it measures the weather going back and forth. Mm. But it is a great barometer um, and measurement on how you are mm. as a leader. How do you treat your parents? 
is a great way in testing how do you treat other people? How do you treat the best people in your life? Hmm. Those that are closest to you hmm. is probably a good correlation to how you're gonna treat those that you lead, you influence, mm -hmm. um, you oversee. Um, so there is a blessing tied to honor. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you honor your father and, mo and mother, you will live long in the land that, you're, that God is giving you. Mm -hmm. And so taking honor for your father and mother, like I said, there's a good correlation in how you treat those around you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's good. I know Mike, you'd said that a lot of these, this, this concept of words mm -hmm. will really help build you and your ministry. But I think it also helps build you in just like your, in just the workplace. You know, for those of you that might not feel called to ministry, um, but you are in the professional world. This is a great concept to have and to bring and will make you stand out more so than anyone else in the corporate world is the concept of honor. And this yeah. is a, so in, my, in my team at my old job, this was one of the core values that I instilled. Mm. Um, you know, we have it here at the 508 and I just stole it maybe, but I instilled this into my team. So I led 26 people um, and the, one, the, the guiding core values of my team was honor. We build people up, we do not tear them down. And that's why mm. everyone in the company yeah. liked working with my team is because they felt valued mm -hmm. when we worked together. Mm -hmm. They did not feel undercut, they did yeah. not feel overlooked, they felt valued. Everything that they gave us, everything that, when they were working with us, they knew that when we're working with fraud, or we're working with BSA, yeah. that we're gonna get our work done and we're gonna feel respected and that's valued good. and mm -hmm. honored yeah. for working yeah. with them. Yeah, let me ask you this question. Um, how are you using your words? Yeah. Are you using them to honor? It's a good, so uh, you know what's interesting? I, I just thought of this now. Even like in a church context, mm -hmm. like your pastor and um, your pastors, they're, they're technically your spiritual mom and dad. Mm -hmm. exactly. How are you honoring your father and mother? Mm -hmm. Now go back to your family. How are you honoring your mom and dad. Mm -hmm. It's a good barometer mm -hmm. for your honor. And and I, <laughs> I, I keep looking. I think it's <laughs> talking talking about the pastors. Yeah. Well, I think I think it's good to go go there for a second. Mm. Is honor dishonor is not necessarily the words that you speak to them, right? Come on. It's the words yeah. that you speak about them about to other them. people too. Yeah. And so if you're so speaking good. about on, your Jay. pastors, are you honoring them? It's yeah. good. When they're not present mm -hmm. or are you dishonoring them? Mm. That's good, bro. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd love to, uh, we can move on to threat number five in a second. Um, but have you either seen within our church or have you seen like behind the scenes? Have you ever been a part of like a situation of dishonor? Mm -hmm. um, even in like a, in, in your own personal testimony with like maybe your mom and dad mm -hmm. and maybe something that you had done wrong, but I'd love to get your feedback about that. Like where was a situation in your life where there was dishonor and where do we go from there? Yeah, I think just in, in the context of ministry, I mean, we typically kind of understand when a decision is made or something is being done or kind of why someone is saying something specifically to, to another person, you kind of know, understand the details behind it, but not everyone else mm -hmm. does understand those details. Mm -hmm. And people are very quick to make assumptions nowadays. They're very quick to want to comment on a, something. And sometimes they just don't understand the information, or all mm -hmm. the details behind that decision. And mm -hmm. so I've found myself in moments like that where, and I can even see that person's perspective when you don't have all the information or mm -hmm. you're kind of looking at something from the outside, you're, you start to question it. Mm -hmm. But I know for myself, I'm, I try to be quick to honor the leadership figure or, you know, the person that maybe made a decision or something and say, Hey, I know that there are additional details here or there are other things that are happening behind the scenes. And I know that they have the best intentions here. Mm -hmm. They're in their role because God's put, placed them there, they have a calling on their lives, and mm -hmm. they're doing their best. And mm -hmm. so I know for me, in those moments where you kind of, and I wouldn't even necessarily call it dishonor, but the questioning yeah. which it can be seen as dishonor. Mm -hmm. I think as leaders, it's mm -hmm. our role to really like serve as an example good. and defend yeah. any decision or, you know. It's a good point. Mm -hmm. It's a good point because sometimes like, you don't always have to agree. You don't always have to agree. But what always comes back to my mind with honor is, are you willing to submit? Mm -hmm. 
mm. to like a vision. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And you know what? In my personal, maybe I'm like, maybe I'm the only guy, but I have trouble with that. I really do. I think, I think now more than ever in my life, I've been more willing to submit to the vision of my pastor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it didn't start there. Like, yeah. there were so many times where I thought that I could do it better in whatever context it was in my life. And then, like, I bring it up to God, and He's like, yeah, dude, no. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but, like, absolutely not. And then, yeah. but what I found was the best way to honor my mom and dad. What was the best way to honor the mom and dad of, of this ministry? Mm-hmm. What's the best way to honor... Um, I, would, I don't even know if I call him an uncle. I call him my brother, Pastor Devin. Uh, at times it feels like an uncle because he's always hitting me over the head with words of correction. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. All of us. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. But what I would say is like a really, really good barometer <laughs> of your honor is um, when you look at, are you willing to submit? Yeah. Are you willing to submit? Yeah. And submission is like when you're doing it out of a great attitude, yeah. you're going into something, your pastor has a vision and you're saying, Come hell or high water, I will fight for you. Mm-hmm. I will do whatever you ask me to do. It's not about me, yeah. but I want to help you. And that's an honoring way to yeah. go. So, Justin, I'd love for you to go into, um, I mean, Becca, actually. <clears throat> Becca, yes. go into threat number five. Yes. Ah. So, threat number five is seeds. Seeds. Out mm. Words. Words. O-R-D-S. S. <laughs> seeds. So, <laughs> the key question on this one is, are you planting good seeds mm. or are you planting bad seeds? Mm-hmm. That's good. And the first thing that I think of, you know, when you say seeds is I think of like a huge tree that we might see. Mm. That didn't just pop out of nowhere. It started with a tiny it's good. seed. It's good. Which over time yep. grew and it became now this massive tree with, you know, a huge trunk. And this goes back to however small a comment we might make, mm-hmm. whether it's a dishonoring comment, it's whether it's, you know, a joke, mm-hmm. that seed is yep. going to land That's somewhere. Planted. And not everyone <coughs> has the mentality or is able to kind of, you know, maybe swipe something away or not let it mm-hmm. take ground in their heart mm-hmm. or, you know, in their self-esteem. And so, again, as leaders and the leaders that we're speaking to here, I think it just solidifies like how important it is for us to be mindful of the seed that we're planting with our words it's and very what good. we're it's very speaking good. over people yeah. that are under us or that we're leading. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you like, how crazy is that? If you even think about it, like if you're the farmer and your words are the seeds, mm-hmm. what are you planting? Yeah. What are you planting? Yeah. And it's like, I don't know. I, I think where this came from, um, even months ago, it was funny when I, when I was, God was originally speaking to me about this. It was like October or so of last year. And he was talking to me about words and words and words. I'm like, God, why does it matter so much? Yeah. Why does it matter so much? Mm-hmm. And then I keep looking back to that scripture and it's like life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yeah. And those who eat it, well, those who love it will eat of its fruit. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, okay, like to God, Words really matter they do. Yeah. because every time we sow a word, it's like we're planting a seed. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And I love the way that you saw it. I'm like, I wonder what trees we're planting mm-hmm. because I love the way that you plant, like you um, kind of sowed that seed. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, when we sow a seed, it's not the seed that matters. It's not the joke. Mm-hmm. The joke is the joke. And then it's just the joke. And then mm-hmm. 10 years later, you have a picture in your head and then you become this person because somebody said that you were fat. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> it seemed like a, a stupid word or a joking word and they were around your friends and you were in middle school and somebody made fun of your acne and now you you can't even look at yourself in the mirror without like needing to put on x amount of makeup and like cover mm-hmm. up everything and you just feel like you're putting on like this disguise and it all came from a seed that was planted and now it's grown into this oak tree mm-hmm. and it's a really ugly tree and it has all this <laughs> ugly fruit coming from it and you don't feel like you're good enough and mm-hmm. and all this stuff and little did we know it came from a single seed, seed. A single seed. Mm -hmm. So what are your seeds? Mm -hmm. What are your seeds? Your words matter. They do. Your words matter. Um, Any last thoughts? Yeah, I think, I just think that seeds one is is so important. Like I said, I mentioned this in our last episode. I mean, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be on this podcast if it wasn't for seeds mm-hmm. that were you know cast yeah mm-hmm. the right seeds the right seeds the right words were spoken 
and now I'm here. You know, of course, it's been a process, but you mm. know, as leaders, I just think that we should be always be focused on planting the right seeds mm. in the hearts of those who we're leading, who we're ministering to. Couldn't agree more. And calling out the leaders <clears throat> in them. I mean, we exist to produce kings and queens. We do. Mm -hmm. And not everyone realizes that they're a king or that they're a queen. Mm -hmm. And it takes us as leaders to call it out of them sometimes. Yeah. And so it's mm -hmm. words play matter. a huge role. Yep. They matter. They do. Mm -hmm. Words they matter. Do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll kind of transition out. I, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I know it's sometimes it's like when you get a, um, a word or a seed like this, sometimes it's like, it's a heavy seed. Sometimes it's a heavy seed. So what I wanted to do to kind of um, pull us out, I don't know if you're driving right now. I don't know if you're getting hacked like Justin in the gym and you're just like putting up 450 and then you're thinking about all these seeds and you're like, man, I just got to plant some seeds in the gym. Just kidding. But I, I don't know what you're doing right now. But here's, here's what I would say. Um, maybe you were in a place in your life and you were in a church and now you're no longer in a church and you don't want to be in a church. Mm -hmm. And there was a seed that was planted in your life and it grew up to be a really, really ugly oak tree. And um, what's funny is like that tree is almost like blocking you mm -hmm. from really prospering. Like mm -hmm. the Bible says in Psalm chapter one, like whatever the planted person does, they prosper. And I wonder if like, I wonder if that planted tree that you are, I wonder if that like that ugly seed that was planted or maybe there was a leader that talked to you, maybe there's a fence or maybe like there was a word that was spoken over you when you were young. And somebody called you fat or ugly or you had too much acne and maybe you just feel insecure. Maybe you feel like you're not a good enough leader. Um, I guess a good action step where I always start personally, where I started whenever I was offended, where I started when there was a bad word, when I, where I started when I had unforgiveness, I had to forgive. Yeah. I had to forgive. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. It's hard when somebody put 18,000 bad seeds into you. Maybe it was a mom or dad. And then you're like, yeah, but you want me to honor them? Yeah. How are you going to tell me to honor it? Like, do you know what they said to me? Do you know the seeds that they planted? Yeah. It's not, it's the offense that you feel in your heart. We need to deal with it. Mm -hmm. We need to deal with it. And so, um, Justin, I'm going to ask you to uh, pray in a second. Um, but I, what I would ask you to do um, as you're kind of going home and going about your day, is to kind of self-identify some of these seeds or maybe some of these words. Mm -hmm. And maybe one, identify what was spoken over you that you need to release, what was spoken over you that you need to forgive. Yeah. And then what are your words? What words are you using? Mm -hmm. Are you using your words to build or are you using them to destroy? So Justin, I'd love for you to, to pray for everybody. Of course. So Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you for this discussion today, Lord. Uh, both episodes, I, I pray that they just <clears throat> penetrated the hearts of our listeners. Um, everyone within the, the sound of our voices uh, is able to resonate on, on words. Lord, I just pray in Jesus' name that um, their, their words are weapons. Mm -hmm. um, they can either defend or destroy. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, I just pray that they are used for defense. Yes. Lord, I pray um, over offense, God, that, that people are <clears throat> not easily offended, God, yes. but that they understand that, that correction is of love. It is not of hurt. Mm -hmm. um, Lord, in reaction, God, I pray in Jesus' name over every person. They understand that it is okay to react, um, but they need to uh, sit back and understand, okay, uh, and receive. Understand where is that mm -hmm. coming from? How should I receive that feedback? Do I leave um, or do I change? Mm. God, I pray in Jesus' name <clears throat> that you cover those that may have felt dishonored, Lord. Mm. Um, and that they understand that that hurt that they've received from any dishonor, um, that they can turn around and show double honor. Mm. Lord, that they understand that their honor brings blessing and dishonor brings cursing, Lord. And I pray in Jesus' name that they continue to honor their father and mother so that they may live long and that they continue to honor those around them so they can build them up. And God, uh, I just pray over um, everyone <clears throat> in the, listening to this podcast, Lord, that they are starting to plant good seed mm -hmm. in good ground, Lord. Yes. Um, and God, I just pray over those people that they, under, they, they start to forgive. They're able to quickly identify, Lord, I pray that you just drop words and names in their hearts as they listen to this, that they understand who they need to forgive and that you start to uproot those bad seeds that were planted so long ago, God. I pray that they are set free. 
um, and that they understand that their words matter. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, hey family, this episode was awesome. I know that this series was kind of intense in some ways. I hope that you're not like at the gym crying like, like Justin is right, right now. But um, no, seriously, I, I really enjoyed, I hope that you guys got a ton out of this. I know it's kind of heavy sometimes like when we're trying to get better in God um, and become more like Him. Sometimes we need to change. And the reality is, is that some of us have had some words spoken over us and some words that we have spoken um, that, you know, sometimes we need to forgive. Sometimes we need to let go. Sometimes offense in our hearts needs to be gone. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this part. I don't know where you're at. If it's like iTunes or Spotify or whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, if you're on YouTube, there's like a big old red button. You can click that joker. That joker will fire right up. Then the subscribers go up and we reach more people. It's awesome. So do me a favor, do that. And then share this podcast. We love you guys so much. And we'll see you on the next episode.